I'm getting ready to go on a short vacation for four days. I'll be out of the garden, but this time of year, it's spring here in South Texas. It's very, very crazy in the garden. There's a lot going on. Here are five things that I'm gonna do to make sure the garden's gonna be just fine for these four days that I'm away. Hi everyone, if you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Riley. And the first thing I'm going to do to prepare my garden for my short four day vacation is I'm gonna prune the suckers off my tomato plants. I have already done a video on this and I'll leave a link in the video description below to that video. Basically, I'm growing these plants to one main growing stem, which means that I am pruning off any suckers that grow on this tomato plant. So I will go ahead and take my snippers, follow my main stem up, where I see a sucker coming out of that plant, snip it off. One benefit of that is there's no extra growth on the plant that's asking for water while you're away. And that way you're gonna use less water in your garden. And that leads me to part two of part one, part B of part one. And that is to make sure that all of my beds are mulched. All of my beds are mulched, so I don't have to do that job tonight, but if I didn't have my beds mulched, that would be a number one priority before I was gone to make sure those beds were mulched so they're going to maintain an even moisture or as even as possible for those four days that I'm away. Number two, I'm going to make sure all my plants that are growing up trellises, I've gone through and where they need to be strapped to my trellis, with my garden Velcro, I'm going ahead and I am putting a strap on them. I don't want them growing, flopping around in the wind, especially as windy as it gets here, and then end up breaking a tip off of these plants. So I'll go through all of my tomato plants, all of my plants I have growing up my trellises, and I'll go ahead and I'll use my garden Velcro, and I'll strap those plants to that trellis. Number three, I still have quite a few plants that are in seed starting cells and this really is no good for being away for four days, especially this time of year where I live because they dry out basically every day in the high temperatures here. I need to go ahead and transplant these into my garden and these are nasturtiums that I started maybe two weeks ago and this may not be the final home for them but I need to go ahead and get them in the garden. And don't worry about it if your final home for your plants isn't ready yet. You can still retransplant these. Take up enough soil around the root system where you've, you've planted it in and replant it. If your, your big pot's not ready for it, you don't have the soil for a big pot, or it's gonna go in another bed, but those plants aren't ready to come out yet, you're better off saving these and make sure that you keep them alive in a nice moist bed for these four days. When you come home, if you need to move them again, you can move them again without too much stress. Number four is a good deep water. If you don't have soaker hoses installed, and I highly recommend that you install soaker hoses, and I've done a video on that, and I'll leave that video, that link to the video in the video description. You're going to need to make sure these plants are good for four days, so give them a good deep water. The way that I'm going to do that on parts of my garden that I don't have a soaker hose, I'll take about two cups, about this size of watering, and I'm going to water each plant with about two cups, just to make sure they're going to be okay for the next four days. Now, I know the weather here the next four days is going to be 85 to 90 every day with bright sun. And here in South Texas, even with mulch on my beds, if I didn't have soaker hoses, it'd be very important that I was out here watering. So I'm going to give these guys a good deep soaking. Sure, they'll be okay when I get back on Monday night. The last thing I'll do before I leave for my short vacation is I'm gonna go ahead and spray my eggplants and my tomato plants with Bacillus thuringiensis. Now, I've already done a video on this. Bacillus thuringiensis is a completely natural, organic 
treatment that we can put on tomato plants and eggplants and prevent the tomato hornworm caterpillar from decimating these plants. And in four days, a tomato hornworm caterpillar can completely destroy a tomato plant if gone unnoticed. So this, in my opinion, is a critical step. I'm gonna go through right now, make sure that I spray the tops and the bottom leaves of all of these tomatoes and eggplants in all of my garden beds. Well, it's getting late, but I'm ready to get on that plane tomorrow and not be worried about this garden while I'm away. I've done those five things that I know will make sure everything will be just fine until I get back Monday night. I've gone through and I've trimmed my tomato plants. I strapped them up to their growing strings or to their trellises to make sure that I don't have any broken tops from high winds when I get back next Monday. I've also made sure that all of my beds have mulch on them so we're not going to lose any water from evaporation over the next four days. I've gone through to all my seed starts that I hadn't yet gotten into larger pots or into my beds and I went ahead and put them in the beds now. If I have to move them later, that's okay. At least they're going to be alive and I can move them without too much stress. I went through all of my beds that don't have soaker hoses and I gave all those plants a really deep watering. And finally, my eggplant and my tomato plants, I've gone ahead and I've applied Bacillus thuringiensis to make sure that the tomato hornworm caterpillar is not going to decimate my plants while I'm away for the next four days. My name is Riley. It's getting dark, but thank you for visiting my garden.